My name is Elisa Carlon. I have studied environmental and land engineering in Italy and after finishing my master degree I wanted to do a work experience abroad and possibly in the field of renewable energy. I have been working in several research projects in these years and also I have combined the work at the company with a PhD program in sustainable energy and technologies at the University of Bolzano in Italy. I started to work at the company Bioenergy 2020 Plus in 2010. Bioenergy 2020 Plus is a research center and here we cover all research topics related to the energy use of biomass. Particularly in the location in Wieselburg, we focus on small-scale biomass combustion in domestic heating system. And this is particularly logwood boilers and pellet boilers, logwood stoves and pellet stoves. My research topic is the integration of pellet boilers and pellet stoves into buildings. For instance, if I want to build a house for myself and I want to heat it with a pellet stove, where is the position in the house where I should install the stove? Which rooms should I choose and how should I control the heat distribution? Is it possible to control the stoves in a way that I have the maximum thermal comfort, the minimum pellet consumption and also low emissions? For the integration into the building, a dynamic simulation software can help us to test different system configurations and different controls and look for the best solution. There are two things that I particularly like about doing research. The first is the variety of the work. We work in different projects where we have different topics and we apply different methods. And therefore, every day I can learn something new. The second thing I like about doing research is challenges. In our projects, we always have very ambitious targets. And when I see the targets, in the beginning of the project, I somehow get scared and I think, is it really possible to achieve this? But after the initial shock, my brain starts to work and I start to think about all the possible ways to get to achieve the target. And usually I don't stop thinking until I figure out the path to the solution.